Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Uh, it's a big day for cake toppers, evidently. This is, I just did one, and now somebody actually sent me this text, which is AR Decode, and, and of course, they're, they want to make this, but as you can see, the, you know, the all the letters don't have to be connected, but this isn't even connected to the M. So what I'm going to do, you can see it's a text. I'm going to left click, right click. I am going to go to object. I'm going to break the text apart. I am going to go to object and I'm going to break the curve apart. What that did is gave us individual pieces. Now I'm going to break it apart again. That gives us individual pieces. I'm going to go ahead and do this because you can move this stuff around. So we're going to start over here and we're going to move this and you could possibly just stretch this up. That doesn't look half bad. The R doesn't really have to touch. So what we're gonna do, you know, this is one of those situations where it's not gonna really weld. We're gonna try to hold down the shift key and select it. And it did work. I would clean up, you know, this ragged edge a little bit. Maybe you have X7 or above, take your smoothing tool and kind of play with that. That looks really good. This doesn't have to touch because it's connected there. We don't want the, the uh, and sign to be touching. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We'll just have it grow till it gets up into there. Hold down the shift and select the other piece and go up to weld and it welded it together. And once again, take your smoothing tool and just smooth that out a little bit to your heart's content. Um, you know, the S and the R doesn't really have to touch because we can maybe put them, you know, in here and we're going to use a, a heart. So that might just be all we need. And if you, um, if we'll just take this and maybe put the mister up here and put the and sign, you know, it would kind of help to have these two welded. Maybe I'm going to make the and sign maybe a little bit bigger and have it down just maybe a little bit. I'm not a typically artistic person, so you might be able to do better on that. Now we're gonna shift select the R and weld it. So those two pieces are together. We're gonna draw a heart, and there's a that's a kind of a really nice heart. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, well we can, but uh, go up to effects and contour. Contour the, let's go the inside. Um, boy, it's huge. I'm drawing this thing 42 inches big. Um, let's contour like two inches. There we go. Now, I just did a heart video yesterday, and you actually have to, uh, because you know, I'm going to have to go and break the contour apart, and then go ahead and select them both and combine them. So it's going to work. Now we're going to bring the heart in to about right there. And you see we're getting three of the letters. If you don't want to go any further, we need to, let me set my nudge factor something pretty low. And I'm going to move the heart over just ever so slightly. I don't want to really move it up anymore. So we could take the shape tool and grab our R and just kind of bring it down, bring it down into there. Now, instead of worrying about welding it, because I don't think it's gonna really work, but it did work, it worked good. Now, but we might not be able to continue using that. Now, our heart might be too big, but if we bring the, actually need to bring all three letters over and we want it kind of on the bottom. And so my heart's probably a little bit too big because I need I need all this to kind of fit. Um, you know what, we could actually do what they did here. So we could bring the Mrs. We could bring the, the, uh, the Mrs. to a little bit lower. Let's go ahead and left click, right click the Smith. And let's grab this and just kind of bring it down where they're, boy, it's almost perfect. 
Um, I maybe would want to move it over a little bit to touch the heart, but that's just personal preference. So let's just nudge it over, give it one more strength piece, as you see there. Now, whether this is gonna work or not, sometimes the well tool doesn't work on this, but I don't see anything you did wrong. You can always test it with the Smart Fill tool. Oh, okay. So the Smith on the bottom is not connected. Um, so what we can do is try one more time to put a little bar there. And you could, you know, there's a lot you could do with this. You know, you could change it and make rounded ends. Uh, let's make them a little bit more round. You can never go too many or too far. Corel will only let you go so far. We just need, I'm gonna hold down the shift key so it'll go faster. I'm nudging. Now it might not weld again. Sometimes you have problems, but it did. So now we can use the Smart Fill tool and fill that in and that's what you get. Pretty cool now, I would maybe have made the ensign, make the heart smaller and bring the ensign so it's connecting like whoever did this one, which is there is really a nice one. And that would be a cake topper. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.